This one's bad. This is an article in the UK Times Online. It's called UK Population Must Fall to 30 Million, says Porritt. Okay, Jonathan Porritt is one of Gordon Brown's leading green advisors. He warns that Britain must drastically reduce its population if it is to build a sustainable society. All right? And later on in the article, oh, the excuse they have is that, uh, the, you know, countries like Britain are, it's the industrialized nations that are producing too much um, greenhouse gas, and it's not the unindustrialized nations, you know, and that's a crack of shit. They just have different ways of reducing their population. So, because the population growth is not that, that drastic in, in the West. You know, so they have to have some other reason. They can't say, oh, it's you're having too many babies. Anyway, they say that Britain's population is expected to grow from 61 million now to 71 million by 2031. Okay? Uh, and, and it says, this is part of the think, this, this the article, is part of the thinking behind the OPT's call for Britain to cut the population to 30 million, roughly what it was in late Victorian times. Okay, they want to cut it to 30 million in 2030, which is only about 20 years from now, but the population would be expected to grow from 61 million to 71 million by 2031. So let's get this straight. The population should grow by 10 million, but they want to cut it in half. Obviously, they want to kill people because there is no way that 50% of the population is just going to die out on its own in 20 years. Do you understand? Do you need to have it spelled out for you any clearer? If you go outside the city of Atlanta, go east about 60 or 70 miles to the town of Elberton, and then go north on Highway 77 about 10 miles, you'll find off to the right what's called the Georgia Guidestones. Looks kind of like Stonehenge, these big, huge granite rocks set up there. This was done by a guy, we have a pseudonym, came in, paid cash, had this company set these things up in 1980. He called himself R.C. Christian, uh, but that's not his real name. It says it right on the stones, a pseudonym, false name. On these Georgia Guidestones, it gives the Ten Commandments for the New World Order. Ten Commandments for the New World Order. The, fir the first commandment was to maintain humanity under a half billion I went there and looked at those things and said, now, hold on a minute. Today's population is six billion. They want to maintain humanity under one-half billion. Looks like a lot of people got to die for their plan to work. Which these is, are by eugenicists. The way, these are depopulationists. I know that most people who are watching this know this. But if anybody has any doubt, I'll post the link for you. Let me say it one more time. The population is now 60 million. It should be... 70 million by 2031, but they want it to be 30 million, half of what we have now. Now you got to think about that. How are they going to get it to half the population? Why is it that our food is constantly being recalled? Why is it our food has all of a sudden become poisoned? I don't ever remember turning on the television in the 1990s and hearing about people dying from contaminated foods. Why is it a constant thing these days? It's all part of the New World Order's plans for population control. Do you know that since January 1st, 2009, there's been over 300 food recalls? I will share a few of these with you. How do you like your food? with or without salmonella. You may not have much of a choice. Why is it these days that our food is constantly poisoned with listeria, monocytogenes, salmonella, E. coli, and other deadly bacteria? There have been peanut butter recalls, tomato recalls, coconut recalls, candy recalls, sandwich recalls, pet food recalls, spinach recalls, Ice cream recalls, Nestle cookie dough recalls, chocolate recalls, and yes, even baby food recalls. Why is no one doing anything about this? Then you realize the truth. The government 
is the ones poisoning the food. They attack the children by poisoning candies and candy bars and cookies and cakes and pies and peanut butter because they know how little children love to eat sweets. Children love sweets. They have also targeted infants poisoning jars of baby food back in 2006 to kill little babies. Did you know that when Barack Obama was a senator, he voted for infanticide? The killing of infant babies, anywhere from six to nine month old babies. Yes, President Obama voted for the killing of babies, saying it was good and it was the right thing to do. The most basic of pagan practices is the control of human population to have a perfect balance between man and nature. The goal is to bring the population down to 500 million, which is over a 90% reduction in humanity. And let me assure you that absolutely nothing that I'm going to tell you is exaggerated, is interpolated, or is imagined. Everything I'm going to tell you is documented. He who controls food controls the world. Well, they said in 1962, we're going to work toward total global implementation of Codex Alimentarius on December 31st, 2009. Now, Codex Alimentarius Commission is administered by the World Health Organization, WHO, and the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. They fund Codex and they run it at the request of the UN. So they're mommy and daddy to Codex Alimentarius. In 1994, Codex, with no notice here in this country whatsoever, declared nutrients, put on your intellectual seatbelts, declared nutrients to be toxins. They're poisons. Under Codex, every dairy cow on the planet must be treated with Monsanto's recombinant bovine growth hormone. Furthermore, under Codex, Every animal used for food on the planet must be treated with subclinical antibiotics and must be treated with exogenous growth hormones. If you do the numbers in the WHO FAO projections, the epidemiological projections, they estimate, not I, that just the vitamin and mineral guideline alone, when it goes into global implementation on December 31st, 2009, will result in a minimum of three billion, that's B, bad, big, billion deaths. There's no doubt about it. That you're saying there's vaccinations can be made mandatory? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, let me stop right there. See, we have the dummy public thinking I make it up when I give you the executive order. Let me give you an executive order for forced quarantine inoculations. And for five years, they've been secretly hiring tens of thousands of preachers to tell their flocks to go to FEMA camps, take forced injections, and turn the guns in. It's of God. That means they're getting ready to try it. DHS sets guidelines for possible swine flu. CBS News. Quarantines. Forced inoculations. Executive Order 13375. 13375. Here, I'll circle it. Right there for you. Zoom in on that for them. They're out there in denial, sucking their thumbs and drinking sodium death fluoride because they love being youth euthanized. Why shouldn't the elite steal everything and just take over? You love drinking the poison that we're water. seeing here in Abilene will actually turn whatever they're spraying on and off right before our eyes. I mean, you'll see a plane up there flying like normal, and then all of a sudden it starts spraying. We've seen them fly off into the distance and then loop around and fly back again. These are not your typical planes with a preordained path destination from city to city. Someone needs to explain to me why do they stop traveling in one particular direction and then loop around and, and come back again. They perform this behavior so many times that we start seeing the tic-tac-toe grids in the sky. We're witnessing the giant X's. And I mean, Rosalind, when you and I grew up, these contrails naturally dissipated in a few seconds or perhaps a minute max. But these things expand, they grow bigger, and before you know it, the entire sky is overcast.
You understand these people are so evil and these are the governments that we are supposed to trust with our lives, trust to make decisions for us. People need to wake up and stop saying, oh, it's the government, they got to do this, they got to do that. We got to trust the government. The government wants to kill you.